Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 79. Today we'll have our division quiz number 4. Let's begin then, shall we? The problems are already on the blackboard. 6012 divided by 3, 1000 divided by 4, 250 divided by 50, 6723 divided by 3, 4012 divided by 4, 8642 divided by 2. I want you to do them yourself first, pause the video, do them yourself. Once you have done them, resume the video and then compare your work, as always, against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you 5 seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video, okay? Here we go. 6,012 divided by 3. First of all, is 6,012 even divisible by 3? The answer of course is yes, 6 is divisible by 3 and 12 is divisible by 3. Of course, it's very simple. Even before we do the work, by visual inspection, we should be able to tell what the answer is. We should be able to tell what the answer is by visual inspection because 6,012 is simply exactly what it says. 6,012 is exactly what it says. It's 6,012. And if you divide that by 3, 6,000 divided by 3 should be 2,000, and 12 divided by 3 should be 4. The answer should be 2,004 through visual inspection, even, even without doing all that thing. But let's do it anyway. How many 3's does 6 have? 6 has 2 3's. How many 3's does 0 have? 0 has no 3. How many 3's does 1 have? 1 has no, no 3's. That 1 goes and joins the 2 becomes 12. And how many 3's does 12 have? 12 has Four three. Something has gone. Oh, that's right. I was about to say something has gone drastically wrong, but nothing has gone drastically wrong. That's exactly what we found. Two thousand and four is exactly what we find. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. One thousand divided by four. One thousand divided by four. When you have to divide some multiple of one hundred by some number, it's easier just to break it up. Write down one thousand as. Write down one thousand as one hundred times ten. Now it's very easy to see what 100 divided by 4 is. There are, there are 25 fours in 100 because 25 times 4 is 100. That's it. It's 25 times 10 which is 250. Let's do the next one. 250 divided by 50 is also very straightforward. 250 divided by 50 is also very straightforward. Divide top and bottom by 10. And how do we show our work of dividing top and bottom by 10? It's very easy. Just knock out the zeros. And then 25 divided by 5 is 5. The answer is there are 5 50s in 250. Of course there are 5 50s in 250 because 100 has 2 50s, 200 is going to have 4 50s, and then 250 is going to have 5 50s. That's exactly what the answer is. Let's do this one. 6723 divided by 3. Is 6723 even divisible by 3? Let's find out, shall we? 6723. Now the theory tells us, the theory tells us that we add up all the digits and see if the sum of the digits, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself should be divisible by 3. That's the theory. In practice, you can get away by taking shortcuts, by looking at the individual digits. 6 of course is divisible by 3, that plays no role. 3 of course is divisible by 3, that plays no role. And now we are simply looking at 7 plus 2, 7 plus 2 is 9, therefore it turns out that 6723 is in fact going to be divisible evenly by 3. Let's do it together. How many 3's does 6 have? 6 has 2 3's. How many 3's does 7 have? 7 has 2 3's. The remaining one goes and joins the 2 becomes 12. How many 3's does 12 have? 12 has 4 3's. And how many 3's does 3 have? 3 has 1 3. Follow. The answer is 2241. It is evenly divisible by 3, just as, just as we had said a second ago. Let's do the next one. 4012 divided by 4. Is 4012 divisible by 4? The answer of course is yes. How do we know that? Well, there are two ways we can tell. There are two ways we can tell that 4012 is divisible by 4 because the rule for 4 is that as long as the last two digits are divisible by 4 then the number itself is divisible by 4 because anything other than that, other, anything other than the last two digits play no role. This is the multiple of 100. 100 is divisible by 4 
If 100 is divisible by 4, then so is any multiple of 100. If 1000 is divisible by 4, which it is, therefore any multiple of 1000 is going to be divisible by 4. So 4000 is going to be divisible by 4, any multiple of 100 is going to be divisible by 4. Only thing that plays role in determining whether or not a given number is divisible by 4 are the last two digits. The last two digits here are 12. And since 12 is divisible by 4, therefore 4012 is evenly divisible by 4. But we really didn't have to make that much fuss about it because it's too simple, too simple a number. 4012 is exactly what it says. 4012 is simply 4000 plus 12. And if you were to divide that by 4, 4000 divided by 4 should give us 1000, and 12 divided by 4 should just give us 3. The answer should be 1003. Let's find out, shall we? How many 4s does 4 have? 4 has 1 4. How many 4s does 0 have? 0, 0 has no 4s. How many 4s does 1 have? 1 has no 4. That one goes, that one goes and joins the 12. That one goes and joins the 2 and becomes a 12. And 12 has 3 4s. You see? 1003, just like we predicted. Let's do the very last one, which is actually very simple. 8642 divided by 2 because because of the fact that every single digit is an even number when you divide it by 2 this answer is very obvious it's going to be 8 divided by 2 is 4 6 divided by 2 is 3 4 divided by 2 is 2 and uh, the answer is 4321 it was too simple let's do a few more shall we Eight thousand. 642, 8,642, 8,642, 8,642, 8,642, divided by, divided by, divided by, divided by, at which point you're probably sitting there and saying, what the hell? We're going to divide this, this number by 3, 4, 5, and 7. Just for the hell of it, which is exactly what the whole thing is all about, is just to get some practice just to make ourselves a little bit more comfortable with numbers. People get intimidated by numbers. There is no reason why you should be intimidated by having to do a simple math problem. Let's do it together, shall we? 8,642. Before we do any work, let's ask ourselves, is this number divisible by 3? Well, let's find out. Well, 6 is divisible by 3. That plays no role. 4 plus 2 is 6. That's, that's, those two numbers, 4 plus 2 is 6, that's going to be divisible by 3. We're left with only 8. And 8, of course, is not divisible by 3. If we were to divide 8 by 3, we'll have a remainder of 2. So even before we do any work, we already know that we're going to have a remainder of 2. And that 2 is being divided by 3. We're going to have 2 thirds in our answer. Let's do it together. When we divide, when we divide 8,642 by 3, we'll see at the end that we'll have 2 thirds as our answer. How many 3's does 8 have? 8 has 2 3's. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 6. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 6 becomes 26. Okay, listen carefully. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 6 becomes 26. 26 has 8 3's. 8 3's are 24. You must know your timetables. 8 8 3's are 24. We had a 26. The remaining 2 goes and joins this 4 becomes 24 again. And 24 has 8 6's. Uh, 24 has 8 threes. 24 has 8 threes. How many threes does 2 have? 2 has no, 2 has no threes. That 2 is our remainder. That 2 at the end is our remainder. So the final answer is that 2 divided by 3 becomes 2 thirds. And the final answer is 8642 divided by 3 equals 2880 and 2 thirds. Let's divide it by 4. 8,642 divided by 4. Is 8,000, is 8,042, is, is 8,642 divisible by 4? Well, let's find out, shall we? 8,642, the last two digits are 42. Is 42 divisible by 4? The answer is no. We cannot divide 42 by 4. If we try to divide 42 by 4, we'll have a remainder of 2. We'll have a remainder of 2. And that 2 needs to be divided by 4, which means the final answer is going to be 0.5 something. It's going to have half at the end. 
final answer is going to have 0.5 or half or two fourths. Let's do it together. How many fours does eight have? Eight has two fours. How many fours does six have? Six has one four. The remaining two goes and joins the four becomes twenty-four. And twenty-four has six fours. How many fours does two have? Two has no fours. That two right there is our remainder, which is to be divided by four. The final answer is 2160 and 2 fourths, but of course 2 fourths is same as 1 half, which is same as 0.5. So our answer is 8642 divided by 4 is 2160.5. Let's do these two. 8642 divided by 5. Is 8642 going to be evenly divisible by 5? We know in order for a number to be divisible in order for a number to be evenly divisible by five, it has to end in a zero or a five. This one ends in neither. Because it ends in a two, we'll have a remainder of two. And that two needs to be divided by five. We'll have a remainder of two fifths. In other words, our final answer is going to be 0.4 something. Our final answer is going to be some whole number and 0.4. Let's do it together, shall we? How many 5 does 8 have? 8 has 1 5. The remaining 3 goes and the remaining 3 goes and joins the 6 becomes 36. 36 has 7 5. 7 5 is a 35. The remaining 1 goes and joins the 4 becomes 14. 14 has 2 5s. 2 5s are 10. The remaining 4 goes and joins the 2 becomes 42. 42 has 8 5s. 8 5s five are 40. We will have a remainder of 2 just like we predicted. That 2 has to be divided by 5. The final answer is 1728 and 2 fifths, or if you like, 1728.4. Let's do this for now. 8642 divided by 7. Is this number divisible by 7? 8642. Is that evenly divisible by 7? What did we learn on the rules of division about 7? When we were learning the rules of division, we learned that 7 actually has no rule. The only way we can figure out if a number is if a given number is divisible by 7 or not is to actually physically do it out, manually do it out. If, if there does exist a rule that tells us if a given number is divisible by 7 or not, I'm not, I'm not aware of it. And if you know of one, put it in the post in the comments. I would very much love to learn it. You understand? How many seven does eight have? Eight has no seven. Oh, rather, sorry, eight has one seven. Eight has one seven. The remaining one goes and joins the six becomes sixteen. How many seven does sixteen have? Sixteen has two sevens. Two sevens are fourteen. The remaining two goes and joins the four becomes twenty-four. How many seven does twenty-four have? Twenty-four has. Three sevens. Three sevens are twenty-one. We had a twenty-four. The remaining three goes and joins the two becomes thirty-two. How many sevens does thirty-two have? Thirty-two has four sevens. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Twenty-eight, if you take away from the thirty-two, will have a remainder of four. That four needs to be divided by seven. The final answer is one thousand two hundred and thirty-four and four seven. I hope and pray to God that I did not make any. Boo boo. Bye now.